هيا يا جماعة أهلا بيكم في حلقة جديدة من بودكاست أسرار السفر الاقتصادي مع شايمة حلقة النهاردة معانا ضيفة اتعرفت عليها صاحبة من أصحاب السفر وزي دايما ما بقول لكم أصحاب السفر هم أحسن أصحاب تقدروا تعملوهم وأنتم مسافرين أما البنت المكسيكية الجميلة اللي أول ما بدأت تسافر متبع حلمها إن هي تبقى فري دايف انستراكتور اتبعت حلمها وكان مع حلمها إن هي تسافر وتروح وتزور أماكن جديدة أما اتعرفت عليها زي ما قلت لكم أنا مسافرة وهي كانت الفري دايف انستراكتور ليا هي اللي علمتني ازاي أعمل فري دايفنج بصراحة كان الفري دايفنج من الحاجات اللي المخططات من أحلامي على الجول ليست بتاعتي إن أنا في يوم من الأيام أقدر أعمل فري دايفنج وأنا كنت محظوظة بأما إن هي تكون الانستراكتور بتاعي لأن بصراحة حسيت معاها بالراحة النفسية وحببتني وكمان أنا بفتخر بأي بنت بتحقق نفسها سواء بتسافر او ان هي بتحقق نفسها في شغلها او الكارير بتاعها وهي بصراحه كانت قد المسؤوليه فحابه اقدم لكم امل النهارده ونتعرف على قصتها وازاي بدات مغامرتها في الحياه وان هي بدات تسافر لوحدها وان هي بتروح اماكن كتير بتعمل فري دايفنج في اماكن كتير حول العالم فيلا بينا نكتشف قصه اما وقبل ما نبتدي حلقه النهارده ما تنسوش تشتركوا بالقناه وتفعلوا جرس الاشعارات عشان يوصل لكم الحلقات الجايه اللي هستضيف فيها ناس كتير قابلتهم في السفر نعرف قصصهم في السفر ونتعلم منهم عشان يدونا يكونوا مصدر الهام لينا ويشجعونا ان احنا ناخد الخطوه وان احنا نسافر اكتر هلا ماما ويلكم تو ماي بودكاست ام سو هابي فور هافينج يو توداي ان ماي بودكاست اند ساتش ان اونر فور مي تو هاف يو توداي I uh, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm so excited. <laughs> me too. So, uh, can you introduce yourself to our friends who are watching us? Like, what's your name? What are you from? How old are you? A little yes. bit about Doctors. you. Well, my full name is Amapola. Uh-huh. That's uh, the name of a flower. Oh, uh, wow, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> it's a red flower. In yeah. English, we call it uh, pu- puppy. Oh. Puppy. And, um, what is the color of the flower? It's red. Oh, and wow. And the middle is black. Oh, so it's, cute. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, How but old? everyone calls me Ama. Yeah, it's more <laughs> easier. <laughs> uh, I'm 36 oh. years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have two siblings, one brother and one sister. Uh, oh. I love them. You are the youngest or not? I am the older. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I am a freediver uh-huh. and also a science journalist. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know this side of you. Yeah, it's my secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how did you start your journey as a traveler? How old were you then? When did you start traveling? The first time that I started traveling, I was 23. 23? Yeah. Wow. I was living in Guadalajara, but yeah. then I finished my college. Yeah. And I wanted to keep free diving wow. and studying. So I moved to Mexico City first yeah. to keep free diving. Wow. And after that, I moved to Merida. It's mm. a city in the south of Mexico, and then I did uh, my master on human ecology. Okay. And that was the beginning. Like yeah. after that, I start moving back again to Mexico City. Then I went to another city in the south of Mexico, in the Caribbean. Uh-huh. Then I travel one year around Europe and Canada. Where have you been in Europe? I went to Spain uh, for France. free diving. Yes, for free diving, yeah. I did my instructor. So you, you you was following a passion. Yeah. Yeah. And um, well, last year I was doing something crazy. What I was, was it? In, uh, I was doing circus. Oh! <laughs> so I stopped free diving and I started traveling because. Uh, we had a circus convention. Oh, and wow. Then they invited me and I, stra- I started traveling and uh, meeting circus people. Oh. I do a discipline that's called Chinese pole. Uh-huh. So it's a five meters tall pole and yeah. you climb and do some acrobatics. Wow. It. For how long did you do that? I just started in COVID in yeah. 2020 because yeah. my sister, she's a circus artist. Ooh. So I I had to stop free diving 
So she invited me to the circus. Oh. So <laughs> why did you st stop doing free diving for the COVID or? I stopped free diving first because of the COVID, because everything closed, like we couldn't go yeah. into the water. And then my dad got sick. Uh, and I decided to come back with my family yeah. and just be together. Oh, nice. So what inspired you to travel? Free diving or you love to travel? I think before free diving, I already wanted to travel. I yeah. was like curious about yeah. uh, meeting other places. How old were you then? 22, 23? Uh, when I started I told you that I started at 23 with yeah. free diving, but actually before, when I start, when I was little, I was doing some sports, and they take us to competition oh. to other cities. So oh. that's where uh, I started to enjoy traveling, oh. and I wanted to keep doing it. And after that, free diving was the way to do it because wow. we moved to championships. I went to Russia. Spain wow. <laughs> to compete. You're a uh, global traveler. <laughs> to Ecuador, to Cuba. Yeah. Yeah. I move a lot with sport. Mm. So it was your reason to travel to let your parents lead you to travel? Were your parents with or against traveling? I think my parents were really excited that I could travel. Yeah. Because also I had the support of the government mm -hmm. so they pay my my championships oh. and traveling mm -hmm. um before that my dad was really excited uh, uh, he wanted me to stu to study abroad mm. so he really he supported you yeah he supported me a yeah. lot yeah. Uh, about traveling and i think he was like proud that i was traveling he should <laughs> How did you plan or choose your first destination? So you plan your first trip for free diving or just open like for traveling? The first trip, actually, I didn't like plan it. Yeah. Because like I don't choose where I'm going to compete. Mm. So you just know like this year the national championship is going to be in this city. Uh -huh. or uh, the world championship is going to be here. Yeah. So I was just like, I really want to go. So I have to train a lot uh -huh. because you have to compete to get there. Yeah. So I was like training so much, not because I wanted to compete, just because yeah. I wanted to travel. <laughs> <laughs> so I train a lot and then I compete. And then if I won, yeah. I could travel. Oh, wow. So I, I didn't choose. But then later, when I had the chance to choose, yeah. when I was older and uh, saved some money, yeah. I was working. So talk more about this part. Yeah. Uh, then I started study, studying my master and yeah. had some money yeah. because of work. Then I chose to go to Ecuador because yeah. I had some friends, yeah. uh, free diving friends. Yeah. And they told me, like, here is amazing. You have to come. And yeah. I knew about the Galapagos Island. And yeah. I wanted to go and swim with sharks, yeah. dolphins, penguins. So I choose Galapagos. Yeah. And also because I really like uh, the volcanoes there. Like, yeah. I want to be an explorer of nature. Oh, wow. <laughs> OK, good. What helped you uh, cope with being out of your comfort zone? Mm. Away from your family, your comfort zone, traveling, because traveling is not easy. It's like your first step being out of your comfort zone. So what helped you? Mm. That's a good question. Because <laughs> <laughs> like... I always encourage like my friends on social media to get out of your comfort zone, because out of your comfort zone, you will find amazing opportunities. So. Tell us about your story. Yes. Well, actually, that's true. Like, traveling can make you feel really tired because mm. you want to see everything and yeah. you're walking, walking, walking. Yeah. So your, your yeah. legs start to hurt that you're hungry, but yeah. you don't know what you're going to eat there. Everything is yeah. new. Yeah. So I think the first thing that helped me was curiosity ah. because... 
I didn't want to stop. I was feeling tired, but yeah. then I wanted to learn more. Uh -huh. And the second thing, thing that I think helped me was reading. Ooh. Because I like to read before I go to a place about... Uh. Like, you search a lot yes, before. Yeah. I search like about the culture, maybe oh. I read a novel or oh. a story about that place so yeah. I will be inspired to yeah. look for places. Mm -hmm. And also having friends. Mm, like yeah. uh, if they are at the beginning, I always choose places where I got friends mm -hmm. or that some friends told me that you can go here and it's safe, you can yeah. go eat here, and so I had some advice. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> How did you prepare yourself financially for traveling? Uh, I think since, since I was little, I, like, I always have preferred to spend my money on traveling than oh, wow. on other stuff yeah so when i was like younger yeah. even when i was just studying and my dad and mom gave me like um, amount of money to spend wow. on on the school i was like i'm not gonna buy a chocolate because i want okay. to save it for for traveling yeah and like when i work mm. i try to like focus on not on objects. Yeah. I don't want to buy objects. Only if they are helping me for traveling, like a good shoes. Yeah. So I will be able to walk more. Yeah. But I don't want like. Smart. The, yes. <laughs> so I don't want like the most expensive or fancy things. So you are managing your budget in a smart way. Yeah. 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 So and you know where, where your money is going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. I know you don't like eating uh, in a restaurant. You prefer to eat in the home, at the home, right? This is also because I want to save, save money, money for, <laughs> Me too. for traveling. <laughs> and I love to... I Sometimes like I, I, I'm going to eat outside and say, like, I, my, my food was better. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I always do that. I always I could say that. expand it on... Something, traveling. yeah. Yes. <laughs> or maybe if I want to start camping. I Whoa. say like, oh, this money will be like a, used for a tent or for a sleeping bag. Yeah. So, so what kind of traveling do you prefer? Like fancy, luxurious or simple life beside nature and easy, busy, simple life. I think yeah. that's your favorite <laughs> because that's where I met you. <laughs> yes, I think I love nature. Yeah. I'm being just there, like... Uh, not fancy yeah and sometimes i like to to play mm -hmm. like to challenge and yeah. discover yeah how simple can i do it like yeah. uh, can i go with just and camp mm -hmm. just camp and yeah. with water and nice food and yeah. fire and friends yeah and friends yeah and that's enough for me like i i also enjoy like uh luxury but it's not i don't do, prefer do it. you sorry do you enjoy what like you... if i have a good bed and a pool oh of course yeah I, i'm not gonna I, say no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if i'm planning it i never think about that i always yeah. think about what about going to the mountain yeah and there yeah and, uh, have a river yeah okay. waterfall yeah that's yeah. my favorite okay good I always say traveling gives us the best life adventure and valuable lesson. What was your biggest les life lesson from traveling? I assume there are plenty, but let's talk about the most important one. Okay, I'm gonna think. Mm, take your time. Yeah. You can have water. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep hydrated. <laughs> Always. Yeah. I am um, yeah. the hydration woman. <laughs> mm. I think I have it. Yeah. Mm. I think traveling teach me a lot about being flexible. Yeah. Because you cannot wow. you can plan. You can yeah. plan things, but things will, will change yeah. and some things are not going to be as you expected. Yeah. But it will teach, do, teach you that 
even if things are not as you expected, yeah. you can be flexible, yeah. change, and yeah. enjoy. Yeah. So maybe you were like expecting a sunny summer, but then you get there and mm. it's all rainy. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna enjoy the rain because it's gonna make like a the plants bigger or maybe yeah. there will be mushrooms i yeah. love to watch like plants yeah and study them yeah so for me it's like okay i'm gonna be flexible and enjoy yeah. what whatever it, is it, coming. it's not an easy lesson by the way being flexible because that's one of the things that i have like i i need to be more flexible while mm -hmm. i'm traveling and it wasn't easy at all for me so yeah. it, it was it easy for you mm. being flexible or I think um, it's been a process. Mm. It's not always easy at the beginning. But for me, I was thinking, like, if I go to other place, it's going to be different. It's not going to be like home. And I want to experience that. And I love food. So I was thinking, like, when I go to other place, I won't have the food that I like at yeah. home. But I can be flexible and yeah. try other things and yeah. it's gonna be like a new experience. Yeah. So I think I started thinking about food yeah. <laughs> and then expanding it to everything. Yeah. Like you are not gonna control it and yeah. it's training. Yeah. Every time will be easier. Yeah. Nice. And it's good from time to time to treat yourself by something that it's okay from time to time. But usually I don't treat myself every day, but once per month, once per week it's nice to treat yourself by something maybe a little bit fancy or out yeah. of your budget it's okay see it's for me it's it's important to give yourself a gift yeah and a price so yeah or reward I'm, yourself yes, yeah i'm saving this money not because i don't want to spend it it's because I want it's to not a torture it's yeah, like no, enjoying it's because, it but in your own yeah. ways yeah so if i go to a restaurant it's yeah. because it's gonna be a really nice restaurant yeah and i'm gonna enjoy it it's yeah. not like because I don't want to cook, so I eat out every time yeah. and I don't care if they yeah. eat this food. No, yeah. I want to eat at home and when I go out, yeah. I want to be like uh, uh, expending a little bit of money. Like, yeah. But nice. it's going to be like a gift, a prize for, for myself. Nice. <laughs> so, Amma, any tips for people who want to make money whilst traveling? Mm -hmm. okay. Any tips? Tips. How do you make money while you are traveling, for example? When I'm traveling? Did you put it in your consideration before you travel or you just, oh, I have some saving, I'm going to travel and spend the money? Or you you, you were planning to make money while it's traveling? Okay. At the beginning, I started just saving money and then traveling mm. and then going back, make yeah. more money and traveling. But then I realized that I really enjoyed traveling for yeah. a longer period of time yeah so i started to look for online online jobs oh wow yeah and i love to write so i started to look for like uh, online writing jobs mm. and uh, i am a science journalist so i work on a online um it's a news site yeah. of uh for about medicine okay good so i work for them they are in the base in the united states and mexico city but i just like work in at my own rhythm and send them the the work oh wow was it enough for you or it just covering a little bit of your expenses it's covering some of my expenses and expenses and then i combine it with uh, teaching freediving Oh wow! So when I, yeah. um, I'm tired a little bit because my body is tired of yeah. so much training. Yeah. I write and then I mix it. Yeah. Ah, see, I it's have normal that. in the beginning of our life to do or work a lot or many hours until we make yeah good money so we can enjoy see. and have more time. Free and time you specialize for us. like you become specialist yeah. in the thing that you are doing. So you. You don't need to work as much because you know more. Yeah. So you can like sell it. And you enjoy what you are doing. Yeah. That's another thing. <laughs> See, yeah. I love I love both like writing and freediving. So yeah. I want to keep them both. <laughs> <laughs> like me. <laughs> okay. Do you think learning a language a new language other than your tongue language, your tongue language helped you? 
Yay, a lot. Actually, a lot. Because I always encourage my followers yes. or my friends on social media to learn a new language. Yes, do it. And it's also fun. Yeah. Uh, but Actually, yesterday I was thinking. Of... Imagine if you don't uh, if you don't speak English. Mm -hmm. How do we? How can we communicate? <laughs> sometimes we speak a little bit of Spanish. Sometimes. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Pero muy bien. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. I was so grateful. Yeah. Yesterday I was thinking about my parents, and I was think I was so grateful that they gave me the opportunity to learn English. So when did you start learning new language? When I was around uh, 16, my yeah. mom and dad uh, got me into an uh, English school for a couple of months. Yeah. So I got, I got like the the will to keep learning. Yeah. And then when uh, later in yeah. I stopped. Yeah. Because it was expensive, so yeah. we couldn't afford it. Yeah. But later, when I was in in college. Mm. Uh, I start to learning like by myself, yeah. uh, listening to m music, lyrics, wow. reading the lyrics, and reading a lot. And I think like those classes helped mm. me. Mm. But then I keep studying because in my university we got material. Yeah, we don't have teachers, but yeah. material. Yeah, yeah, oh, good. Yeah. So, uh, does being a, a bilingual help you find more work opportunities? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like here. <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> course. Teaching freediving. So, do you have any tips for traveling on a budget? Uh, How people can... If yes, you have like... like take a little... time to okay. search for flights. Yeah. Like, this is important. And like, if you have the time to search, yeah. you may have find like yeah. some good good prices yeah and um, cook for yourself at home cook for yourself <laughs> at home like uh, have uh, snacks with uh, you like healthy that snacks you can, healthy okay snack, that yeah. you, like nuts and things that you can buy on yeah fruit veggies fruit veggies oats so mm -hmm. you can dinner or breakfast in yeah. wherever like not in a restaurant and then you choose when you want to eat in a, in a restaurant mm -hmm. and also like travel light yeah like don't take heavy bags yeah, yeah. heavy bags because you will be don't really take your wardrobe tired. with you yes. <laughs> see if you are not light you will need a lot of taxis and uh, yeah. if you are light you can walk or use the subway so yeah. you will be more amazing more chilling. <laughs> okay what have you enjoyed about doing house sitting well, it's traveling. Let's talk about how it's sitting because it's a new concept in my country. So tell us about your uh, uh, experience. Yeah. For me, it's like really nice to have your own space. Yeah. Like, it's not that hotels or hostel does, doesn't, don't give you your own space. Yeah. They do. But when you have a kitchen, it's like the soul. Being of, at home. Yeah, being at home. Like, um, for me, it's like really cozy and yeah. much more comfortable uh, to clean my space like, yeah. as I want, yeah. to cook, um, to get in whenever I want. How many times did you do house setting? This is my first time. Yeah. yeah. And how and was I, it? It's amazing. I love is to Is it going to be your plants. first time? Is it going to be like your first and last time or you're going to... No, I, I would love to do it again. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, see, what I really enjoy is taking care of the garden. Yeah. Or or if you have a pet, it's like I am not able to have my own Yeah, pet, so you enjoy but... other people's pets. <laughs> <laughs> like, explain more about how it's setting because people don't know this concept. So, okay. how did you apply? How did you know about how it's setting? Actually... What do you have to do what are your duties okay actually now like i didn't um find it by myself yeah harry my boss yeah uh, suggested it, it for, for you me. yeah and we have to take care like of the garden and keep like uh, we are 
like uh, doing like a safety. Yeah. So people yeah. don't get in. Yeah. I don't know how to explain. Yeah, I understand. But keep yeah. everything close and yeah. people have their stuff like in, in one storage. Yeah. So be sure that it's safe and yeah. nobody gets in. But this time it's really easy. Just yeah. that and keep yeah. everything like... Uh, clean so your time is yours you are not uh, you don't like you can go in and out as as much as you can yeah you don't have uh, you don't have to stay in, at home for a long time or you don't have to be from time to time or you don't have any duties it's like your time yes you have Just all take your care time of the garden take care of the garden so yeah. she's staying at the home for taking care of the garden so yes. it's amazing yeah. <laughs> have you experienced any challenges well, is traveling in general? Uh, yes. Yeah. I think like uh, sometimes the feeling of uh, overwhelming. Like, yeah. Maybe this is too much. Like, yeah. What I'm going to do? They cancel my hostel. Uh, so, yeah. I think a couple of times happened to me that the hostel uh, misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. So they didn't have my room. Yeah. So for me it was a little bit scary because maybe it was night or yeah. I was alone. Um, once I was uh, I was with a friend. Yeah. So it was easier because we both could walk together to yeah. search for another hostel. So you find another place to stay. Yeah, it's just like you so. just need to relax. Yeah, exactly. Relax, breathe, so. and look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> And then start yeah. looking and yeah. somebody... They will... seem like free diving. Yeah. Relax, press well, yeah. and that's it. It's gonna... Everything Everything is gonna be all right, yeah. right? <laughs> See, it's just that you have to remember that you can do it. Yeah, like it's exactly. Okay. Just breathe and then you can do it. Mm, thank you. So, how many countries did you visit in total and where are you planning to go next? I know you you are you have a plan. So you have a plan for the next year or two years or three years? Do you have a plan? I have a plan for yeah. like after I am working in this in this season. Yeah. I want to travel around here a little bit around yeah. Baja. Yeah. Then I will go to Guadalajara to visit my family and then I have a trip to Galapagos Island. Yeah. Uh, for free more free dive. <laughs> She's I'm a mermaid. A <laughs> yes, I'm a mermaid. And then I would love to come back and plan a climbing trip with my wow. sister. Oh, wow. Amazing. That would be amazing. Here, also in Mexico, we have great places to, to so climb. Big. Yeah. And how many, uh, how many countries, uh, countries did you um, visit? Please. Okay. Plenty. <laughs> yes, in a month. Yes, mucho. So mucho países. Mucho países? No, maybe not. Around like... Ecuador, eh, Cuba, Colombia, Guatemala, then Spain, France, yeah. Belgium, Canada, yeah. oh. Russia. Wow. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So finally, what is your advice for our friends on social media who are not comfortable to take the leap and go traveling. What is your advice? So encourage them, get out of your comfort zone. Everything is gonna be all right. Good. Yeah. I think you can start just like, if you have a friend, Yeah. you can start just visiting him or her. Oh yeah. Like just go and sometimes it's easier because they will show you like, you can eat here, you can like visit here and if you don't know anything like yeah. uh, in some some place around yeah. you can start going close yeah like you don't need to do to go to the other side of the world yeah like just go to the next yeah. uh, town yeah. or city or to the mountain or river and yeah. start small yeah exactly it's gonna be easier it's not gonna be scary and then you will be able to do a next step and a step further. take it gradually yeah yeah, amazing. Thank you, Ama, for being here today. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for time and your tips and advices for our friends. Thank you so much. Thank you. Shana. Muchas gracias. Gracias. I show you a new video. Bye bye. Como, eh, adios. Adios. Hasta luego. <laughs> Hasta luego. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Give me a kiss.
Thank you so much. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs>